Hello everyone and welcome back to Full Stack Devlogs. Today we will be talking about one very major important topic which is the difference between uh, git merge and rebase and why even we are talking about these two merging strategies. When I am pushing my commits to a git repository so this is one commit, this is second commit and this is third commit right and this is a branch main branch and I have one more branch which is the feature branch so here we want to demonstrate that then when there are multiple feature branches on which say different developers are working on on separate features so for example you see the second commit add a commit to master so this feature branch has been branched out from this particular commit and then it has been added a new commit on the feature branch itself now we are going to discuss the cases when a feature branch is running on for like more time like five days to ten days and in the meantime the master is very active and master is constantly getting new updates new commits and you want to merge the new commits in the master with your feature to keep your feature at par or latest with the master so if we want to bring all the latest commits which are in master into the feature branch what all options do we have so most popularly we have two options available first is we can merge the master into the feature branch we can merge the master branch into the feature branch and second is we can rebase the feature onto the master but this is too much jargon let's try to understand in very basics so to understand merge let's look here we are having these three commits in the master branch and now we want to branch out a feature from here. So what we will do, we will branch out a feature branch. And this is my feature branch which is branched out from here. And we make two new commits here. In the meantime, we also bring two new commits in the master. But the feature is not having these two commits which might be important or maybe one of those two commits is important for this feature we are developing or the developer is developing here. So what best option he has now? He has an option which is known as the merge strategy. So what he can do is he can just do a merge operation doing which he can just create a new commit. So this is how merge works. So finally you see this new commit, this star here. This star is uh, actually I have created this star just to denote a new merge commit. So this new merge commit in the feature branch actually brings on these two new upstream changes onto the feature. But as you see that every time we will merge, we will have an extra commit in the feature branch, which is actually polluting your history. But also at the same time is giving you a context of what merges or what activities were done in a feature branch from time to time. Now let's try understanding rebase. So again coming back to our initial state, is there a feature branch and this is the master which is having two new commits which are not present in the feature. And now we want to rebase instead of merge. What happens next? So in case of rebase, we have to remember that it will move the entire feature branch on the tip of the master branch. Let's see how. So this straight line demonstrate a rebasing. So in most of the cases, what will happen is that we will have a rewrited history and for example in some cases say first this commit was done in the feature after that this first pink dot commit was done in the master the condition will be like this is one this is two three and four these are the sequence of commits you understand so now rebasing will actually rewrite the history it's not like merge it doesn't work like merge so now what it will do it is let's see that so this is how the final rebase will be done into the feature branch and it will look somewhat like this first the master branch and then the sequence commits in sequence and each will be added as a new commit in the feature branch this is the beauty of rebasing wherein you will preserve uh, the correct sequence of history correct sequence of commits and every time you rebase you will not have an extra commit just like you had in the case of merge. 
So in the case of merge, we always have an extra commit in the feature branch. So these are some of the advantages of rebasing. Let's try to understand what we just understood in theory. Let's try to understand that in practical. So this is my main branch, which is having one, two, three commits. And my feature branch, which is the demo feature branch here, has been branched out from this second commit of the master. And this is an extra commit, uh, which is uh, for the feature branch itself. But my feature branch is not having this new commit, which has been made after the branch on feature branch was created. So it is missing uh, this commit and say this commit is very useful or important for my feature development and I need it. So what is the first option that I have? Yes, that is merging it. So what we will do, we will merge the master into feature, which is very simple. So we will say git merge. So first we will see our branches. So we have the demo feature branch and the main branch. And now we will merge the main into the demo feature branch. So we have to switch to git switch. Now let's try to merge. So we will say git merge demo feature branch so now it's asking for a merge commit so merge branch main into demo feature branch you see this so here we will add our merge commit add a new merge commit to feature right okay so now that merge has been created merge commit has been created and we can just do a git push and we should see this new merge commit on our feature branch yes so you see it add a new merge commit to feature so now what we see the difference is that we branched out from add a commit to master then we added a commit to the feature branch then since we have merged it so we also have the add a new commit to master you remember this a new commit to master and you see the master remains unchanged so you will see the master is still have those commits it still doesn't have the commits from the feature because feature has not been merged into master master has been merged into feature so i hope this explains you a funda or a concept about merge strategy and this is my feature branch which is the demo feature branch right now what we will do is as of now we will start adding some files to the main branch how we will do it we will first check where are we so we are on the feature branch let's come back to the main branch so say uh, we are adding some new commits to the main branch so like now i will add file number 7 dot txt so i will see that there is this file change i will stage it again so we pushed it now we will add another commit for file 8 for example on the main branch itself we will again push it Okay, so now we have see that we have two new commits here, add file number seven and add file number eight. And our feature branch is not updated with the master. Now let's also add some new commits into the feature branch. So first let's switch to the feature branch. Okay, now let's create some new files here. So I will add two new files here and one commit for each file. add one more 
file feature 5 so it's feature file 5 let's see so we have feature file 3 and feature file 4 commits here we should have one more feature file 5 so we have two new commits here but we also have two new commits in the master which are not in the feature branch we will actually rebase the feature onto the master and let's see how we will do it so first we will uh, switch onto the master branch or my main branch in my case now we will check out the feature here to bring the tip to the head now we will just say git rebase main now while pushing we have to actually force push we will understand this concept later as of now we will do a force push now let's see what the merge did what the rebase did different from the merge so again before refreshing the screens here so we have two new commits in the main file 7 and file 8 and we have two new commits in the feature branch file 4 and file 5 but the master branch or the main branch changes are not in the feature branch and we have rebased let's see now so the master branch remains unchanged but since we are rebasing the feature onto the master let's see yes so now what we see here you see the add file 7 and add file 8 this add file 7 and add file 8 these were if we would have merged it these commits should have been somewhere here on the top but actually no rebase has rewrited the history and it knew that after file 6 file 7 what added so you need you know see this so instead of like branching out and polluting my history and adding a new commit for merging first of all we don't see an extra years commit what it did, did it is create, created a single line and without polluting my commit histories. So when somebody comes back to my feature branch, he can see the commit history in a single line that okay, file six was added and then file seven, then file eight. Then this is the commit history, which is neat and clean and very good for our traceability. I hope with this, we understand the concept or the difference between the merge and the rebase strategies thank you for watching it for so long hope you have understood the concepts and if there are some doubts please write into the comments and try reaching out me uh, reaching out to me on linkedin or to my uh, gmail in the next video we will be covering the concepts uh, related to git uh, continuing from this which will be interactive rebasing and we will discuss the golden rules of rebasing and also that after a rebase why sometimes we need to do a force push so thank you for watching and do subscribe i'm repeating again if you don't want to miss my content thank you